90 degrees, first time this year at MSY and more to come. Now, thankfully, we're going to start to see a bit of a break. Now, it will be a hot day again tomorrow, maybe upper 80s, and then the humidity starts to drop throughout the afternoon and evening. So we will have a milder few days and great news is all for the weekend, including Mother's Day. And that was despite the fact that we saw mostly cloudy skies and even a few little light drizzles here and there. Very, very light showers. Dew point though, 79 degrees at the time we hit 90. The heat index was 105 heat index right now 98. So these 80s and few low 90s when you factor in these more summer like dew points, it feels very summer like and still in the upper 90s to triple digits as we head later into the evening. The temperatures will be coming down. Not much though and humidity will stay up a little bit of a breeze, although we haven't had the wind gusts like we've had over the last couple of days. We're watching really for our storm chances overnight on the North Shore and not all of the North Shore, mainly well north of I-12. As we head into the day tomorrow, we'll be hot but becoming less humid and that'll stick around through the weekend and then rain chances. Probably several rain chances are on the way for next week. As I mentioned, the complex of storms that the models, I will say, have been doing a fairly decent job of right around the Waco, Texas area. This is the complex we'll be watching closely. Now, what does this model do? It almost has a lot of that dissipate, another little round uh, develop and stays generally north of the state line with only maybe a few showers passing through. Another one of our high resolution models, though, indicating we could see more of that a little bit farther south, so that would put a better chance of it kind of scooting right across all of the northern Florida parishes. Now, note what it also is indicating, kind of a well-defined bow echo. This would indicate very strong straight line winds. Now, the strongest based on this trajectory would stay north of the state line. However, even on the southern end of this kind of tail of the bow end, would a bow echo would have some strong winds as well. Within that, you could have some heavy rainfall, so there will be a slight risk of some street flooding, but more than anything, it'll be that risk of strong winds. Not to say it is a 0% chance of tornadoes, but that risk looks to be very, very low. As far as street flooding goes, that should have associated with very heavy rainfall, so the rainfall rates may be fairly high, but it'll also be moving through rather quickly. This is kind of in conjunction with a couple of upper disturbances, and more upper features will be headed our way. In fact, numerous upper disturbances headed south south over the course of next week and there will be numerous opportunities for rainfall. So we are looking at a wetter pattern heading into next week, but relatively dry for Mother's Day. So again, outdoor plans, I think it'll be fine. In fact, it'll be a little milder and less humid. As far as the exact timing of our rain chances next week, low confidence as well as our low confidence in temperatures. If we're rainy, we're going to stay a little bit milder. If no rain, we're back to near 90.